Hello everybody, hello, hello, how are you? Me and Snapcat. <laughs> it is Monday, the time locally is 10, 10 a.m. I am broadcasting from Phoenix, Arizona, good old USA, I always say. This is nighttime, not your typical old man. Once again, it's Monday, May 10th, 2021. This week, I will be streaming uh, every day, early in the morning. Earlier or later, don't know. Um, playing Warface team deathmatch games, as I always do. Uh, before I start, Warface is uh, basically Russian-based game. There was a guy, there is a guy, name is Duno, Duno from Russia. Uh, I think he is an eSport uh, gamer or was eSport gamer and also a streamer. This guy was pulling hundreds and hundreds of uh, viewers on Twitch and YouTube too. Well, he is back. And I just noticed that he is back and playing Warface again, plant the bomb. This is Duna, Duna right now. 490 viewers, which is actually extremely good for Warface game. I'm hoping that he's gonna stay here for a long time because uh, him staying here, you know, brings uh, more viewers, even the Russian and players, hopefully. I think there's small flies around again. There's always flo uh, small flies around. So this is Duno with 501 now, <laughs> viewer. Um, today's subject, talking point, is 10 good reasons for you to try Warface Gaming. Now, if you're a first person shooter fan, not like a, a just a streamer just oh you know what i'm gonna stream anything whichever people uh watches or follows because i want to be a streamer i want to make money out of streaming i need more people rather than what i like i'm gonna stream whatever people like so you can go for first person third person strategy whatever people you know watches but if you're not, if you're like a first person shooter fan, you like first person shooter games more, there are so little options out there. Uh, your options are either very low quality, very bad gameplays, or they charge money for you to play, you know, for you to, you know, you buy the game, or others. <laughs> there are so little options out there for you to play. Warface is one of the uh, good ones out there. Let me check something real quick. And I will give you 10 good reasons. Hopefully you will try out too. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to see if my Twitch is working because I haven't received any notification from the chat team. Anyway. Okay, here are the reasons. Reason number one to try Warface Gaming. Um, it's free. Free to play first person shooter game. Now, even many people say it's pay to win. It's not well, pay to win, it's not pay to win game. You know, defining win, winning in this game is a teamwork. Pay to win is like, a, you know, if you if you pay and then you win yourself, right? But this game, Warface is a, a team game based. So define win in this game is, you know, as a team you're winning. You can't contribute a lot without paying a penny 
Meaning is you don't have to buy, purchase anything. The game already provides you everything you need. Even though higher level weapons and everything, gears. Uh, as long as you play the game, it provides you all that stuff. Now, there are also items for sale. You know, you can buy. It doesn't directly like uh, ask you to buy with your uh, money. There's a, something called a credit with the K. You buy those and then use those credits, you know, towards the uh, items. Those who can afford and support the game and purchase items are also will be in your team. Now, what does that mean? Uh, are they like a, yeah, just try to win? No, no. Most of the people buy stuff from the games. Uh, most of them, they just want to support the uh, game because it's free. It's like a given tip. You know, there's a street perfor performance, like they, they play uh, instrument in the street or they sing or whatever. They don't beg for money. They actually uh, perform, you know, do performance. Street performers. And then you, if you like those people, you tip them. You give money to them. Whatever you can afford it. You don't have to. I mean, uh, they are not asking you to give, like, oh, you have to give me money. No, no. They just perform. And then if you like their performance, you, you know. You give money as much as you can afford. Same thing. Free to play games. It's free. You can play. You can download from Steam. By the way, it's all platforms. Uh, Xbox, uh, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and PC. All these platforms. And if you can afford, obviously, you can get the you know uh, credits and buy the weapons and um, just contribute more for your team. But again, if you don't pay, it doesn't mean like a, you're going to be like, you may actually, it depends, depending on your uh, skills as well. You can do very well in the game. You don't need to buy extremely uh, high level you know, weapons or whatever. Plus, in most styles in Warface game, you can pick up any weapon from the floor and actually use it. So if someone dies and drops the uh, weapon they purchased with money, highest level, and you can just go pick it up and keep killing, killing people with that you know, weapon. You don't have to you know, buy, purchase it. You still can use it. Not sure about all styles, but team that matches like that. So you can try. You don't have to buy it, but can you can still try it. So it is free to play first person shooter i want to show you before we go to the second item 10 good reasons for you to try warface um i will show one second i'm just setting up something on my screen here real quick Let's go to the game and I'll show you what kind of uh, weapons available and what level you know weapons available for free. Let's go to the game section here real quick. And then we're gonna continue. There are not many out there free to play games honestly there are not um, there are not as much as free to play games with this quality warface quality it's not unfortunately advertised uh, promoted a lot This is the um, characters from new season. Okay, give me one second. 
Let me fix my hand cam, it's too bright. There you go. Now, um, where is the, uh, there you go, those are the weapons. Those are the weapons game gives you for free. Um, I think you cannot see some of the items behind my webcam and over here, but that's okay. Rifleman class, medic class, engineer, and sniper. Those called vendor items. So while you play, you unlock those and you get all those uh, weapons. Those are very powerful weapons. Especially these two at the end for riflemen. These are the other uh, classes. And armors as well. So beginner levels, medium level, advanced level and professional level all those given to you by the game for free and attachments as well for your weapons and you can go to shop you can either purchase top items by credit k using or you can buy them with the uh, something called the uh, Warface Dollars. These guys here. Warface Dollars given to you by the game. You don't buy it. The game gives you rewards every time you play the game. Win or lose, you get rewards and some uh, one of them is Warface Dollars. You accumulate those. You can buy weapons or other items with those. All these the shop you can buy all those stuff now the case the credits only actual money again it's not you paying actual money you buy the K right now I have 2,500 K you can use those to you know get those items some of them I have and some of them actually given to you while you play uh, the pass season pass season uh, you know uh, each season so you can also earn those you can purchase the um, season pass or their free ones all right now reason number two um, it's a very light installation Meaning is Warface is not like a required for, I don't know, it's not like a hundred gig. I'm not sure how many, but uh, it's very, very light installation. It won't take a lot of space and it doesn't need high end graphic cards, even though graphic is very good. And so you don't need like a high end computer for play the uh, Warface. Graphic is actually pretty good. I like it. And you don't need really high-end computer. These days, all the computers are very high-end, basically, wherever you get it from or build yourself. So it's a light installation. That's a reason number two. Reason number three is so many game options in Warface. From plant the bomb to special op special operations, uh, special operations called, uh, what do you call Specs, <laughs> special operations, whatever. PvP and PvE games, custom PvP games, and my favorite is TDM. Obviously, Team Net Match. I like Team Net Match because it's non-stop, ten minutes non-stop action. It's uh, it's for me. It's good because I'm a solo player. Here they are. PvE. Spec Ops, let's go Spec Ops, Special Operations. PVE versus, uh, you know, AIs, training. Once you install your program, first time and run, if you go to training, you go all the uh, uh, classes training and then you get rewards, believe it or not. Training gives you reward. 
Special Ops is actually long gameplays. Um, either two people or more. I think it's go up to five, six, five, I think. This is the la latest uh, uh, special operation haste. Also the season. And there are so many of them. This was the previous. And then others. Operation Blackwood, Hydra, Mars, Sunrise, Icebreaker, Black Shark, Anibus, Blackout, Cyber, Earthshaker, Pripyat, Cold Peak, DHQ. You can have your own team set up like this. Now go back, PVE. Those guys are rotated daily. They are small operations. Your team versus AIs, small operations. Difficulty is actually uh, enormous. The hard levels are pretty, pretty, pretty uh, difficult to beat. Even though it's uh, small operations, it still lasts, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes. This is only PvE version. PvP version. Those are the options for you to play against other people. Blitz, team, de team death match, bag and tag, free for all, storm, plant the bomb, capture. I think it's capture is, you know, spot, place, point. Destruction and domination. Those are the old maps here. Some of the maps are rotated. There are a few maps that are not here, not here. They're rotated by others each month, I think. When you click on each, all those maps for that type comes out. Blitz has only four. Team Deathmatch has more. Storm has less and so on. Again, you can create your own game here. Any type, any rules, any uh, classes. If you have enough friends, obviously. So those are the PVEs. Rank matches, very, very, um, what you call, uh, popular among uh, Warface players. Rank matches are number one played. If you go and watch the streams right now, anywhere you want, YouTube, Twitch, or whatever, 99% of the people in Warface, which is not much out there, but still, they played ranking matches. Each rank gives you rewards, and they are seasonal too. 22 days for this one. Once you say fight, there's a there are rules that you cannot have high high level, you know, guns or whatever or gear. It's supposed to be a certain level gear, I think. I don't play this, so I'm not sure with the rule, but uh, you have to have some certain gear to be able to play ranked matches. So there are so many options for this game. It's not only one type you go and start shooting. No, there's so many options. I only play one team death match. That even is enough for me as a one person. All right, what else? Number four. So number one was free to play first person shooter. Number two reason is light installation. Number three is so many game options. And number four is the lobby. Game lobby is itself a game style during waiting for the uh, um, map or even just for fun. You can just uh, spend maybe hours in there while practicing and you're shooting and other things. Like finding secret passageways. <laughs> you know, usually lobbies are very boring. You wait and you don't do much. Except war, uh, what you call a war zone now has, before you start to, you know, game, they drop you to practice in the, uh, in the map. This one is different. This is your lobby. 
Now, you can already start shooting and practice. But you can do a lot more. Just start from here, for example. This is your lobby, which they changed during the years. This was much simpler now, they're much more complicated with the hologram um, targets. Let's start with this one here. This is a simple target. You select the uh, difficulties and start shooting. The time they stand longer than harder you know, uh, levels. Let's end this. This is one thing you can do. So this is the one exercise you can do. And this is the second exercise you can do. And you can go to that guy. Anyone talk to this guy. And select your um, class. Go in there. It opens up the uh, settings for that class. And you start practicing. Again, it's a uh, timed... Let me see. I don't think I can end this now. Okay. It has a timer. And when your time run out, it says, oh, you did good or you did bad, whatever. Now, that's the uh, third option you can do here. Let's go inside. Pull yourself together. Life is a shooting range. And you have to gun failure down. End it. Now there is a course you can run. Soldier, you have 120 seconds. In a real combat situation, you would have 120 seconds left. You can run this course and finish the course like this. It's just like a real, real life uh, training shooting range. That's another exercise you can do. This is lobby, just the lobby waiting. You can do all those things. You don't have to wait, obviously. You can uh, uh, just come here, just like I'm doing, and practice if you want to. Now, this is the new season theme, the bank. There is an option, that there's actually um, some secret uh, thing going on here that you can open that big uh, safe here. What you can do, what you have to do is you have to go to levels of fun here. First of all, you have to kill all those <laughs> small flies, <laughs> cameras in here and in here. There are so many cameras around here. After you kill all those cameras, you come over here, <coughs> you open this door, this door opens. After you open this door, you go in there and there's a code. To get that code, you go back to bank. And as you can see, there are some uh, paintings on the wall. Well, every painting has numbers. So according to those numbers, the code you have, you tilt the paintings. If you know the code and if you tilt the right paintings, this door opens. So it's fun. Keeps you busy. As I said, you can spend hours here just without the you know actual playing the game, you just practice. All right, that was the lobby. That was reason number four. Reason, reason number five. Now, that's the one of the reasons I like a lot. Call of Duty and other games out there, especially Call of Duty, they are very fast moving games. The characters, the players in, in that game moves so fast. It's like they fly. They don't, they don't walk, they don't run, they don't slide, they fly, literally they just fly. And movement speed is so fast. When I watch them, 
it literally gives me a headache. Even if I play, it's just very, you know, it gets really complicated. Not complicated, but so tiring. Warface has a much, much reasonable speed in the game. What I mean by that, for example, you're running from here to there. This is your running. In COD, you probably already reached that twice. In COD, if you start running, you're already there. In this one, it is much, much more reasonable, the speed. The speed is in this game is very, very realistic. That's one of my actually uh, best reason I like. Number six classes. There are so many. There, there are five classes in this game. Um, each class has its own unique ability and weapon selection. Riflemen for ARs, for example. Engineers for light machine guns. Medics for shotguns and snipers for snipers. And there are robots called synthetically engineered drones. Said. Uh, they have rail guns, rail guns with endless ammo. Uh, for example, riflemen supply ammo, engineer fixes shields and all that stuff. Medics uh, revive or heals people. Snipers just snipe and says just shoot around. <laughs> they don't do much. Let me see if I can find their abilities somewhere here. I don't think it's available anymore. Here they are. Medic fixes, you know, uh, heals himself, heals others, and revives. Engineers, they fix their own shield, they fix other shields, they revive robots. and they plant um, claymores. Seds don't do nothing. Riflemen. Riflemen supplies ammo for themselves, supplies ammo for others. And I think that's it. Yeah. Snipers don't do absolutely nothing. Just thinking, hmm, <laughs> I got nothing. Seds actually revives Seds. about it and they can climb the wall without any help so classes so let's look at the classes their weapons this is riflemen those are the riflemen weapon let's go to uh, engineer now, rifleman class, the top speed RPM you can get is about 700, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 700. And medic is shotgun, but they are very powerful. In rifles, you can get the damage up to 90, right here. In medic, shotguns go up to 750 damage, which is humongous. And here's how it works. Shotguns. Aim not necessary. You can aim, obviously. But not necessary. People love shotguns. People love medics, by the way. People also love engineer. Now, engineer, the RPMs is crazy fast. Let me find you a thousand. 1030 it's expired you sometimes you get uh, weapons daily reward for like a one day or 12 hours whatever you can use those in the games they're free um, sometimes they are put on the sh in the shop but for you to try those things let's see here thousand right here mini Uzi thousand rpm for engineer there's a laser.
Close our lasers. Let's go to uh, Sniper. Sniper. Again, very, very powerful. 260 damage, 340 damage. Their bolt action and their auto. The one I'm holding, I think it's auto. Now let's go take a look at the bolt action. I don't like bolt action because of the uh, this movement. You know, at, at, as soon as you shoot, if you miss, you're dead already. <laughs> so you cannot miss. You have to be very, very far if you don't want to get killed. Now the uh, advantages of um, snipers, obviously, you don't have to hit the head. You can hit the uh, body, and you're still killed. Said, just added about a couple years ago, I think, from the uh, Special Operations Mars. These are the robots, actually controlled by real people, sitting on a chair somewhere. <laughs> so they are like a uh, uh, avatars. All they do, there is no aiming. M1 never ends, but the machine gun gets warm up and it stops working for a while, like this. And also you can uh, jump up the uh, walls without any help. So those are the uh, five very, very attractive <laughs> um, styles, which go uh, classes. All right, number seven reason for you to try Warface is Seasons. Again, Seasons um, are also battle passes now. They just started battle passes for you to earn rewards. Free version and paid version, whatever you want. Um, you can have the daily weekly challenges and also have Oh, let me see here. Um, spec ops. These are the ones. Every season, these come up. New maps, new items, new everything. Those guys playing. Those guys actually um, takes a long time to finish. So seasons are very, very nice options for you to play with your friends or by yourself with the randoms where are we number eight number eight uh, warface although not many players in North America uh, it is played worldwide wor worldwide especially in Russia and Europe there are also so many players in South America believe it or not Tons of players in South America, but North America, because of the Call of Duty and the money spent for the Call of Duty and their you know, uh, uh, games, it's pretty much not visible. You know, Call of Duty in North America, all over the place, but especially North America. That's why Warface is not popular. It should be. It should be popular. Warface is actually a pretty good uh, game. So it's worldwide. You can find, well, you will find a lot of you know, players from all over the place. You will probably ping high, but that's, that's okay. It's just a game. It's not like, if it's not like a yeah, you are in the contest or anything like that. It's not like a league. It's just a game, and it's very fun. Yeah, it's a simple. It's a number nine reason is a simple gameplay. In number nine, is one of my favorite as well. What do you mean? What do you mean by simple gameplay? Well, there are no streaks. There's no choppers attacking from above. There's no um, I don't know nukes. You don't you don't uh, ride a chopper. You don't ride a uh, vehicle or anything like that. You just go out and just like a regular warrior, just a simple shooting game. 
and it's it's very nice because there's no the only uh streak kill is your grenade <laughs> that's the only thing you have grenade which is my favorite i love to kill people with grenades it's very uh it's very fun so it's very simple gameplay nothing complicated about it it's so simple and number 10 the last reason is it's just a good game overall once you start playing it and if you play long enough even though you find other games out there if you play long enough you will come back and play raise your hand i did it a few times quite a few times actually because it's it's very nice overall very nice game very entertaining you say you get angry a lot you quit a lot because i do for every games i do get angry and upset and quit on all games warface simple play nothing too complicated go out shoot kill whatever if you're into that kind of game first person shooter all right I think this is it now we're gonna play some games 